Well, we're not finished with the fourplex yet, but as you can see, there's a bunch of saints here on the Sabbath that are up visiting, that are enjoying the picnic benches and stuff. They're getting out of the sun. It's a cool day here at Straightway. And there's some of the saints of the Most High that are already sitting in underneath the, the pad right here. Brother Rufus and him. So just there go Justice. Say hi, Justice. <laughs> the brother. Say hi, brother Rufus, the brother Frank. Hey, bro, Frank, bless you, brother. Hallelujah. All right. That's brother Austin from South Carolina and brother Bill. <laughs> All right, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of YouTube, saints of the Most High, y'all. This is Pastor Dow. I know that a lot of you have been eagerly anticipating the finishing or the finished work of the pavilion. Well, we're almost there. We're almost there. And, of course, you will look at it and say, looks like you're there, Pastor. Well, we're almost there. There's just a few little odds and end things we have to do. We have to put one more coat of the restore. Uh, which that is the green flooring that you're seeing on top of the concrete. Now, that restores a product that you can buy at Home Depot or Lowe's. It's very expensive. Um, it's like $84 a bucket. I think they dropped it down to $78. But it's $84 a bucket, and what it does, it provides a slick, free surface. Now, many people know that finished concrete can be very slick. And, it, and, you know, we used it on the decks around here, and we used it in the laundry room, and we liked the product. Um, but for the safety purposes, um, we, we, we love the thing. Elder Doug has got a, a few more, um, a little bit more wiring to do. And then you see that spool of wire right there. We have to run that to the electric box in order to provide light um, to the pavilion uh, itself along with a couple of working fans. We're going to put a couple of fans in here. Uh, I want to walk around here for a second. You see we have it roped off because we don't want anybody to walk on um, this surface just yet. Okay, and of course on this high end we have railing and that's a safety factor for children. Um, I, I want to go ahead and maybe get about three quarters of the way and let you see the inside of the pavilion to see what it looks like. That's the ceiling part. You can see that Elder Doug is already Ran the electricity. Um, it's pretty trued up. This is a 20 by 40 building. Um, that is the surface. That right there, what you're looking at, is the finished surface that we've done just about three quarters of the way. We still have a little bit more to go. Now I'm going to also walk around this other side right here and let you see the part where you know the majority of the people will probably come in at. That's it on this side right here. Okay, and then I'm going to go around here and let you see the rear view. Now, it's probably about 6 o'clock in the morning here at Straightway. Um, maybe another 15, 20 minutes till. Uh, we have raised beds. We may do something about those raised beds um, since they're so close um, to the pavilion itself. But anyway, here is the other view of the pavilion. And, of course, you can see the basketball court is uh, directly behind it. I think this is going to be something that we're all going to enjoy. Um, we'll take pictures and videos of it during gathering of the saints, tabernacles, Passover, and etc. Um, I'm trying to determine if, and I had thought about it earlier, and of course another YouTube listener had mentioned as well that it would probably be good to put an access point at the other end down there, some steps coming up from the far end. Um, and you're right. Um, you're telling the truth. Um, I also know that human beings, um, uh, just like um, these cows that we have over in the field, always choose the path of least resistance. And if they can avoid going up steps, they will, especially if they get older. Um, I'm not saying it's not a good idea. It is a good idea. But anyway, this is the finished, uh, pretty much the finished product of the pavilion. Now, I am um, extremely tired. Um, I know that Elder Doug is extremely tired because um, we, we've been out here it's, it's probably taken us somewhere between I don't know maybe 10-11 days um, 
from the very beginning to the very end to complete this thing. When y'all come here for God's, I'll talk a little bit about community living. I'll talk about humanity and let y'all know a few things that y'all may not be familiar with. This is the other end of the pavilion. And if you notice, we, I do have a certain paint scheme um, on this pavilion. Um, I can tell you right now that even last Shabbat when the Saints was up here from South Carolina as well as Georgia, um, and, and people come that the first thing they did, even though it wasn't finished, is, is when people, when they came outside, the first thing they did was took the picnic benches and ran and sit right up on this pavilion. <laughs> also, I want to show you something that um, you know, that I designed. Um, and I had a, a couple of brothers help me build. And brother Jamie, brother James Plant is the one that's probably going to uh, build the next couple of ones right here. But here is what I have, what I call a heavy duty picnic bench and that's as you can see it's pretty heavy duty see the sides of it is 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 really reinforced now i built this picnic bench right here um and i'm teaching the brothers or at least teaching brother james how to do it um it's heavy duty for a reason uh, because this picnic bench is for everybody it's over 200 pounds because uh, if you, you you imagine what will happen to a picnic bench if you put somebody on a picnic bench like this one, which is your standard picnic bench that you would see at a park, and which we built that too. Um, Brother James, I think he's the one who finished up this picnic bench, but he's going to be building the next two or three because he has it in him. He has that mindset that he can build, um, and he pays attention to instructions. He follows instructions very well, and he can get it done. Uh, so he'll be classified as what I will call a good builder. So let me give you one more um, example here. Hallelujah. Of the pavilion. This is from the basketball court angle right here. I tried my best to do what I could to give y'all examples of uh, this pavilion uh, from start to finish because I want to sh you to I want y'all to see an example of um, what it takes for people uh, to get together and work together. And I can tell you right now. Um, that only community, there's nobody that works harder than the pastor if he's worth anything. And there's nobody that works harder than the elders if they're worth anything. Um, because, you know, if you go back into the scriptures, y'all has given us that type of a spirit. Like I said, during God's, I'm going to talk a little bit more about a lot of this stuff. But I hope that you've enjoyed um, the video, the instructions going along um, on this problem. There's a little last right there. That is Little Elias. Little Elias is, is going to be a, a big time builder. A big time builder because Elias has been out here and he's a hard worker and he's there every step of the way. One thing about Little Elias, you ain't got to worry about him. He will show up on time and he will be here on time, uh, ready to work. Um, so at a young age, he's learning what I wished I knew. Um, so, hey, y'all enjoy? Y'all enjoy? We look forward to seeing y'all here soon. Y'all have a wonderful day. King is coming.